Some more supplies came in. There are so many things that I've ordered that are back ordered. Everything's just kind of trickling in. In some ways that's nice because I don't have 50 million things to test for you like right off the bat. But something I'm really excited about came in today. I've seen this before in many different places. Sarah Dyer's Patreon kind of took me over the edge. They actually sell these in a nice set that I didn't really want all six. I can't remember now if it's six or eight that come in the thing, like in the set. And it does come in a nice like little package thing, but I just didn't want to spend that extra for those colors. Hope I don't regret that because I don't really even know what I'm going to put these in to be honest. I wanted to show you the work that I did from last week's video when we went camping. And uh, I thought first I would just go through my like loose paper. If you are wondering what kind of paper I used, I've got a whole video that I'll link here someplace on my cheap paper. And I used the cheapest of the cheap. So if you watch that video, this is just the thinnest paper. And I'll also end with my sketchbook paintings, which I think are some of the best. These were more of just like, let's experiment and play. This was the tree painting. If you remember that, I wrapped this paper around the tree. If you missed last week's video, it's a really great video. I've been hearing from you guys, you loved it. So I'll put a link here also for you to check that out. So this paper I wrapped around a tree and used all the weeds and stuff around me as inspiration, which was super fun. This is a really quick painting I did, and I did end up cutting this up. And then what I did was overlap the pieces just a little bit, so it kind of made it just a little bit more dynamic. And then I glued all of that onto another piece of cheap paper, and then the blank spaces that I had left over, because obviously this paper wasn't the same size at this point, I just added some color. And it has a nice weighty feel to it. And I think it turned out really cool. I think it added just a little bit extra. These were the colors that excited me. It's the Art Graft Verico Taylor Shape. And these are basically inks, I think, and block. Is that what they would say? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I should have read, uh, read up on that. I don't know. But I do like them because they are like inks. They're so, so packed with color. But they're dry. They're in these blocks. So this packaging will be of zero help to me. I won't use that at all. Hmm. So I'll have to find some way to carry these. I was actually thinking about breaking them. I probably will break them at least in half. Hopefully they'll break okay. They're actually kind of heavy. I thought this could just be nice to add to my set of dry materials. I'm constantly trying to learn my way around multimedia and I thought this could be a really nice addition because I do like things that are just punched with color. And I thought this could be a nice thing to take out with me in the landscape because hopefully like I could just use it straight from this and it would dry before I got in the car. I've also got my soft pastels here because I kind of wanted to play with those. I also wanted to show you this. The other thing that I have from this company, Art Graft, I have mentioned this before. It's basically watercolor graphite and I love this stuff. It's really beautiful and I thought it could be a blue for this because this set does not have blue. What all colors did I get? I probably should have told y'all that. Sepia, which is kind of not sepia. I thought sepia was an interesting name for it. Sanguine, sanguine, who knows? Here, let me show you this one. Sepia. I got dark brown. It was so nice because Sarah tested hers. She got the set. And so that helped me know which colors I wanted. I have some exciting news for you guys that I think you're gonna wanna know about. I did a studio tour for Jean Oliver. She's doing a series this year of studio tours with artists. Genius, amazing, so good. I'm gonna put a link to that blog post below. There's a video, there's pictures, there's bio stuff, all the good chomping bits that you want to know from an artist. She's already had several other artists that she has highlighted and she invited me to be one of them. So I did it and I hope you'll enjoy it. So there it is. 
go check it out. Link below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Thank you for the inviting. This is probably my favorite of all of these right here. This went through a lot of processes and I love it. And I did chop it up. Oh yeah, you already saw that. I showed that in the last video. Chopped it up. It has texture and color and movement that I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. On this one, I just collaged first. I was gonna chop this one up too, but I never did. And then these last two, I feel like I could have taken further and I just didn't. I don't know. I was kind of just fine with them being like this. Let me show you the sketchbooks because I feel like those paintings turned out really, really, really good. For some reason, I pushed a little more in those, so I definitely want to show them to you. So this is what this looks like, and I do like this for like clouds and sketching. It's really nice. So let's go on and get some of this down. And I like it because you can either get it really dark or lighten it. And I love, it leaves kind of a texture. I'm gonna start with the color that I feel most excited about. See, this is what I like. I feel like I could throw this on the ground. Now what's the difference in this and watercolor? I'm trying to talk myself through this. Oh, I do like using inks out on location because I like how pigmented they are and like how they really like pack a punch. Okay, I just dipped that in water because I wanted to see what like a really light, oh, a thin layer of this. I love that color. Oh, see, and I don't have a color like that in my inks. Wow. I can't remember if these are water, like if it's a, like an ink where it won't reconstitute or not. I can't remember, but that color, hello. That makes me happy for days and days. Okay, this is what I like. This is why I like inks. Wait, is that gonna go through on the other side? Because I tested my pastels on the other side. I guess that'll be a test. Okay, I watered it down even more. Gosh, see, that's pretty. I also liked these colors that I picked for landscape. See, I'll use this color even for a sky. These sketches I'm about to show you are in my really large moleskin. I have a link below in the description for the sketchbooks and the papers that I used. This one is a jumbo. I mean, there's my arm to give you an idea of size. I'm not gonna be showing you these in order. They're just kind of as they are in each sketchbook. I really like the movement of this water and the colors. This was a fun one. The color palette in this was quite different, but still moody and pretty. I think this should also give you an idea of how just one scene you can play. If you'll just pick a scene and zoom in, zoom out, add more sky, add more water or a field or whatever it is. This is one I did from a book that I was inspired by that I took on the trip with me. I was just at the campsite and use the book as inspiration. I think this is one that I said that I didn't like at the time and that I thought you guys would like, but I do really like this now, like a lot. I like all the texture and moodiness. I think it turned out really well. Then for some reason I skipped a page. Is that a bug? This page, I put some collage down first and I think I forgot about this page. I think I was going to push this. I think I put some layers down and then forgot about it. Maybe I'll come back to this next trip. That's all in the sketchbook. Let me go get the next one. I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay, what color is this right here? Now see, I should have kept them in the package. Oh, brother. I think this is the ochre. Oh, yeah, see, I... Mm, 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 mm. Do y'all get annoyed when I'm like, just go on and on about color? <sighs> that is gorgeous. I feel like these are going to be a gorgeous landscape set. Ooh, and let's see what it does. I bet we can get a nice orange. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Wow. Ooh, that's, that's punchy. You got to just barely dip in that. I think I could even use these in the, in the car. Okay, this is the sepia. Look, you can already tell how non-sepia, but kind of like a dirty. <gasps> yes, these two yellows. Yes, 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 hello. This, mm -hmm. this to me could not be a better color set right here. If this had a blue, like a dirty blue that you could get dark, make darker or lighter, this would be like the perfect set. And then this is, what color, dark brown. And I liked it too. 
it's got a nice moodiness and then let's thin it down see that would be nice as a sky and I bet I can pick some of that up yep while it's still wet See, this would you know work as a sky because it's kind of gray so basically this whole set are warm colors though but if i had those and then either used my inks or or my ink tints blocks would work really good with this i am interested to see if they're going if they're bleeding through Ooh, because that will be a bonus if they don't, if they're not bleeding through because inks bleed through so bad. No, they're not bleeding through. Oh, the other thing you're supposed to be able to do, but I, I won't, I know me, is you could draw with them also. You can use them dry. I mean, I say I wouldn't, but maybe I would. Okay, this is another really large moleskin, the largest one that they make. I love the moodiness and the colors in this. I absolutely love it. This is the one that I did upside down in my sketchbook, which really annoyed me. Uh, that was from another trip. I think y'all have already seen that one. That was another trip. This is one I did at the campsite and I opened up my sketchbook or another sketchbook and used another painting of mine to paint. It was really hot. It was in the middle of the day. So I just sat there and worked on this. I think this is from another trip. I can't remember if I did this one this trip or not. I don't have it dated for some reason. Okay, that's all in this sketchbook. Let me go get the next one. Let's say we're out sketching and I want to do a little bit of a sky. With a little bit of this. Like I said, we were going to try something that I really can't remember now what I... Let's see if I had a blue, I bet I could make a green. Let me see if I can make a green. Ooh, I can kind of make a green with this and this. Yeah, look at that. Because this is kind of acting like a black. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -mm. Oh, I bet I could do, no, here we go. Here's going to be the green. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. It's nice. Uh, let's put a little roof on that guy. Oh, let's see how it dabs up. Am I ever recording? Yes. I've been freaking myself out lately with, am I recording? Let's see how well it lifts. We haven't really tested that, have we? Like, does it lift? have two in this sketchbook but I absolutely love this one. I love the way the trees came out. It felt loose but mark making. I just was really really happy with how all that turned out. It was a fun one to do and then I think I was tired at this point and there were some kayakers out there. I don't know this one feels a little more a mess and unfinished. Maybe I didn't finish it. I don't know but there it is. Yeah I didn't even date it. That's interesting. Okay, let me go grab the next one. Yeah, see if I had my ink tents. Where are my ink tents? I think they're right here. I haven't used my ink tents in so long. I feel like I don't really know even what the colors are. So if I laid some of that down with some of this. One of the things I like about this art graph thing too is if I'm in the car, I'll put water in this and use that as my little water bucket. One of the reasons it's nice to just play with things like this and not have like the exact color is because you get more interesting, that's not really good uh, grammar, but you get interesting, sh you know, like shapes and things that maybe you wouldn't normally get. I forgot to leave some sky up here. I was kind of thinking this was going to be sky. Just kind of thinking of this lake I've been going to. The 
the decks I'm going to show you are in my Royal Talons art creation sketchbook. And again, I'll have these listed below. I think there's just a couple. I just had a few minutes left, I think, and was just drawing the trees. Um, just really simple. Yeah, that's all on the sketchbook. This is powerful. Man, that red. Woo, woo, woo. You gotta barely dip it. Quite happy. These also, the package that came in was with a Jai Normo bottle of like literally a tub of paint, ginormous. And then they packed these delicate things in that same tub. No saran, not saran wrap, plastic wrap, bubble wrap around these at all, nothing. And these survived. So that tells me these things are quite sturdy, even though they did come in this, but uh, they should have been beaten to a pulp and they weren't. I feel like there's another sketchbook missing, but I can't find it. But I did do a lot of abstract work. I've been filling up sketchbooks with abstract work. I didn't do a ton there and I don't know which ones I did because I'm not dating any of my abstract work. I don't know why, but I'm just filling up sketchbooks. So I don't know which ones I did. I don't think I did regular paintings in any of these. So I just wanted to show you that on the side here and there I was doing abstracts. So I did do a ton of work as you can tell. This is what I'd like to have is just all the stuff out there with me. Kind of take a ri you know, risk of like making a mess. All the stuff. I get off in my own little world here like playing with these things and forget that we're recording. Actually, it must have recording. Yes. How's the battery doing? It's okay. Okay. Is this dry? It is. My, I, my guess is they're not rewettable. Oh, maybe they are. Ooh, they, I think they are. Which, you know, if you have inks. So it's like these have the power of ink. But with liftability. Now, I don't know if that was fully, fully dry. What about this? Yeah, I thought I remembered the graph. The graphite. Yeah, you can read with those. Hmm, interesting. This dried to a beautiful pink using that really light. I love that. Very happy. That was a great purchase. Great purchase. I hope that was helpful. This morning I decided to set up outside and paint probably a view that doesn't look very inspiring but there's a tree way up there that uh, has had my attention. So uh, I'm trying a new setup and thought I would try it here at home first. I used my what kind of umbrella is this? It's a paint in the rearser best umbrella. It's a pain to set up. My chair will flop over if I don't have something in it, but it is allowing me to be out here longer. I'm going to see if I could have a simpler setup for painting plain air. This is pretty heavy, but you need something heavy when you're outdoors and it's windy. And then I'm just sitting this in my lap. It's been nice because everything is just at hand and it's not all on top of one another. And then I'm also able to lay out my paints in the correct colors instead of digging through them. So I thought I would try this setup at home first and see if I liked it. And then when I get done with this and get indoors, I'll show you the painting. I'm thrilled with how this sketch turned out and my new setup was really wonderful too. Um, yeah, I'm just super happy with this. I love the marks. I couldn't see everything either because there was sun on this and I used to hate that and now I love it. And can we just take note of all the purple? I never use purple and mm, I'm pretty happy with it. Yay. It is July 4th and it is sweltering hot here in Tennessee. But I was really inspired by the landscape, wanted to get out and paint. I've been at the computer editing all morning. So I just, I'm literally in the bushes uh, in our landscape. It was like a place where I could get some shade. So let me show you what it did. Just did a super, super quick responding to the landscape, abstract landscape painting. Okay, so I'm set up here on the porch, uh, trying to not get too much paint on the porch. And then literally, I'm like in the bushes here <laughs> in the landscape. And here's what I did. Um, 
just really quick. We have our mountain that pops up over these green trees. Um, and you can't really tell it right now, but when I'm on the porch that there's a mountain that pops up right there. So that's what I did. Yeah, really fun. Nothing amazing, but really fun. I wanted to show you guys a project that I finished uh, this week, just using my cheap, cheap, cheap oil pastels. Uh, I was doing Sarah Dyer's boat Patreon drawing date, and she had the best boats for this drawing date. I decided before I even saw the boats, I was just going to pack everything in on one page. Kind of regretted that. I love how it turned out, but I did want to, I am going to go back and redo it because I loved some of the boats and wanted to put more details in. And then she also had some fun things like fishermen and there was a random bike guy in one of the pictures, but this was really colorful and fun the way this turned out, I think. And I just wanted to show y'all. Also, I just used my cheap oil pastels. These, the brand, this brand is called Pentel, P-E-N-T-E-L. I don't remember what this brand is. This, I think, is even cheaper, but I love these. They work great, and yeah, I don't know what else to say, but I wanted to show that to you guys. thought I would show y'all work in progress, one that I've just started. This is one I've worked a couple days on. I'm doing a series um, of this kind of style from sketches I did um, at a lake, a local lake, and I have maybe five to 10 sketches, and I'm just using all of them to make these paintings. So right now I've started with this sketch and starting to add things from it. And I'm starting to build some of the houses and rocks and just things. I'm just getting things on the canvas and making marks, nothing is precious. I mean, even like this, so I started that's the line of this boat right here. So I'm just putting things in. And then what I'll do is turn the page and use, you know, things from another of these paintings. I don't even remember where they all are, but I have a bunch of them. And uh, that's just what I'm doing. So I thought I would show you guys. So even little things like there was a tree that I put here. And I did put that. Look, you can kind of see it. And it's from here. A tree and then I took it out. Um, even little bits like this are where I put a tree in and then I didn't like it, so I painted over it, but you can still see parts of it. So those are the kind of little bits that I put in these paintings.